Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Goldukat Plays Sins of a Galactic Empire. Now, I've moved on a little bit since uh, we last left off, and I've done a little more research. Uh, as you can see, I'm filling up the fleet logistics a little bit, and in addition to that, I've done some of our civic pieces of research, which I'll go into more detail with in a moment, and I've started off some military research too. But, during that short period of time, the pirates have chosen me as their target. Now, Grand Moff Ducat does not readily appreciate pirates. Fortunately, as you can see here, we have a couple more of Star Destroyers. A couple more of Star Destroyers? What kind of language is that? We have a couple more Star Destroyers in our fleet, ready to defend our planet. So. I think without further ado, let's kick off and see how we do. As you can see, the fighters are moving in quickly. Should we zoom right in? Our enemies will be re-educated. Our fighters seem to be taking a bit of a pasting from these DPD-20s, so they must have some kind of anti-fighter capability. Oh, hello! Look at all this. This is most unfortunate. Trade Federation frigates. We have several marauders. None of these are directly dangerous, but uh, there are quite a few of them. The RISDs, I'm sure, are going to make light work of them all. But they're faster than us. That is highly unfortunate. Hopefully we are going to have a small host of ships Reporting in, initiating attack. Directly to attack those enemies. And let's just see what our Come fighters are doing. We've got Thai fighters currently, sadly. Light em up, boys. Not fully sure what these trade fed frigates are trying to do. Looks like some of the others have turned around and they're going to get absolutely pasted. Order, sir. Oh wow, they really are going to get pasted. Nuclear smelting research complete, Reporting that's good in. news. Fire at <coughs> will. <coughs> They're going for our trade area. That's unacceptable behavior. Looks like a couple of dreadnought classes are also attacking us, but uh, currently I'm not too concerned about that. We do have an excellent defensive fleet. And they are zipping around like mad, destroying everything they see. Enemies of Goldukat will be re-educated. Ready? Fire at will. And it seems that our fighter squadrons are being remade. Hopefully, as you'll be able to see here, when grouped together, they are pretty effective against some of the larger vessels. Here we go. Remains of the enemy vessels will be done in short order. So long, and thanks for the experience, pirate fleet. Armed and ready. During this period, I've been building some refit dreadnought classes, the same type as the enemy have. Now it suggests that they are extremely good when deployed in groups of four, which is exactly what I've done. And we're also building a couple of vindicator classes, and. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, I'm tempted by this strike class here. It says targets per bank two front, two left, and two right. The strike class medium cruiser is well armed for its size and Order, also has a sir. high top speed. Being its high firepower allows it to take on larger vessels when deployed in groups. However, it does have 4,000 shields, so that actually might do quite nicely. It only uses six supply, so I think we'll go for a couple of those once we have some money. Oh, if we could sell some resources, that should be. We go for five of them. Now I'm kind of tempted because he's used 53 supply. I'm tempted to get one more um, Imperial Star Destroyer. Well, this only uses 22, 22 supply. It is, however, significantly weaker. 38, 43. Orders, sir. Well, he uses 38 supply, so we can get another two uh, Imperial One class Star Destroyers. 
and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Evidently we need a lot more money, so we shall do so uh, by selling a bunch of our resources. Okay, and we need 504, so we can sell another 400 or so, and we also need a little bit less crystal, so we can sell a bit of that. That should be enough for two. Additional research required. Hold on just a moment! Well, let's just... Do we want carrot classes? Ah, they're expendable. And some more nebulons. Ooh, we can get lots of these. That should be easily a big enough fleet to take on our enemies. Let's have a look at these Vindicator classes. Oh, this is one of my favourite models in the game. For some reason I really like this this particular class. What does everybody else think? You let me know. Ooh, beautiful. And as you can probably see here, I finally got the skyboxes working. It turns out I didn't press that button enough times. Now the deep space skybox is also one of the coloured skyboxes. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it turns out I just pressed it once, assumed that they weren't working. Yeah, my bad. My bad, people. But they are working, and as you can see, they are ooh, zipping around. They are very attractive. So, I tell you what, how about we check out another couple of them? I better break them again now. Oh, there's a nice blue one. That's a very nice blue one. Shows off the Imperial vessels quite nicely. Let's have a look at another couple. This one's a little bit more somber, it's a darker blue. But again, it's got a good lighting, qu lighting quotient that shows off the Imperial vessels nicely again. Order, sir. How about we stick with this one for the time being? Because it looks quite stark. And well, we like stark. Cruiser we like here. Tony Stark. We like we like all of the Starks. We like Ed Edard Stark. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> Cruiser here. I was pretty indifferent to Rob Stark myself, but you know. <laughs> he won't be a problem anymore. Spoilers. We're on the move. <laughs> so, this is the general look of our fleet at the moment. I'm going to wait until We're on the move. these smaller vessels have been completed in addition to this one Imperial One class side destroyer, and then I think we're going to go straight for Thela, which is the large Terran planet we spoke Cruiser, about in the yeah. last episode. <coughs> this should be a tax powerhouse and should allow me to get a large amount more credits to get they call credits? Yes, they're on the credits. move. Joy. Cruiser reporting. Thought they might be called something else, like Imper Imperial Jib Jabs or something. You never know. We're on the move. Cruiser here. Ah, uh, here's my Imperial one. Somewhere. There he is. Awaiting instructions. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Research here. complete. And as always, four bombs, two fighters. Yes, sir. Jump to hyperspace. Ah. We're These on the have move. the ability Cruiser to build here. two. Armed and ready. Uh, that's the Vindicator classes, which is the ones I said I like the model of. And they can build two squadrons as well. So let's, instructions. Uh, let's augment them with their Awaiting instructions. squadrons. There they go. Delightful. And our fleet's starting to look nice and good. How many more do we have? Shouldn't be many at all. Oh, there's M468 asking if I'm here. I am here, but sadly I'm making a video. Uh, M468 is one of the developers of Sins of a Prophets. In addition to that, he has helped Lava with a little bit of um, developing work on Soji. So, there we go. Oh, the Ukrainian military is just shitting on the rebels. That's delightful, M4. That's going in my video. I mean, it seems like a, a senseless waste of military time just to be going around dumping on rebels. It's awful. But there we are. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here we're to talk the about move. the glory of the Empire. Jump and so, complete. what is this fellow doing? He's like, well, I don't want to be pointing in the same direction as everybody else. Let's just go upwards. No. You're, meant, you're supposed to be like Khan. Don't think three-dimensionally. That's better. Oh, he's going down now. What can I What's this? Musical chairs for ships? Research. Calm yourselves. Ugh. Can't maintain control of my own squadrons. 
Okay, looks like these are the last vessels to be produced. We've got another carrot class. What is this your command. Got some light ion blast and again heavy tractor beams which will hold up the enemy fleet. Brigade reporting. And what's this fellow? Oh, that's the Nebulon B2 which has its flak burst. And a couple Arm of strike classes. Again, light ion blast and something. I imagine that's some kind of AI resource. What's this? Cargo barge. Oh, I like that cargo barge. Setting Don't they look lovely, Jean? We need to stop watching Aladdin. Reporting in. Reporting in. Right, at this point it looks like the Vong are going to take the next pirate attack so, attack, so I can take the initiative a little bit. Now that all my ships are in, I think what we're going to do is they're still grouped together because we had a fleet in this system that they automatically joined upon entry. What we're going to do is Destination we confirmed. are going to go for Thela. Now one thing I've just noticed is you can see this orange line coming towards my territory. Let's have a look here. It appears that the old Iranian resistance is close to me. That is something of a concern, because, as previously mentioned, I'm terrible at this game, and actually having to face a fully-fledged AI might trouble me somewhat. So, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen, let's hope they're not already there. And if they are, let's hope I can defeat them. Uh, I think in order to make sure that culture doesn't become a problem, we're going to immediately research interstellar networks, and we're going to research declaration of a new order which was detailed very quickly in the last episode it's it takes away from the relationship status with any other race however it does give us a culture resistance boost and that means that enemy culture isn't going to affect my race as much let's see what this is brainchild of moff tarkin the empire now governs through fear of force rather than force itself while bombing an enemy planet, Imperial vessels within the Gravwell have faster rate of ship fire. Upon colonization of a new planet, the Empire intimidate uses intimidation tactics which result in increased population growth for a short time. That sounds delightful. I'll have a bit of that. Culture suppression is always good. Alien mass enslavement. Now, <clears throat> as a girl, I don't necessarily approve of this. Buy it. And there we are, that will do for the time being in our culture research, now that we've begun it. I'm not sure that I actually have any spare slots available in these particular Calculating jump to light However, speed. hopefully, once I've taken Thela, I'll be able to build a couple of culture stations there. Oh, it appears that my ships are jumping. Ah, an impending pirate raid. And they are going against the rebels. Magnificent. My fleet has arrived. Now, let us choose my fighters and see if we can break their backs before they even get to us. Ooh, activate. Destroy it! Throw it into the fire! Ah, yes. This is working nicely. I've probably lost most of my fighters there. Can I go against the DP-20? Send them all against the Dreadnought class and hope the rest of the fleet can hold its own. Now, as you can see, I, I like to actually do things uh, out in this galactic wide mode, uh, so I can see where the enemy ships are placed. But naturally you get a better feel for these battles if you zoom in a little further. You can see the, zi the ships zipping around. Uh, hope you don't mind me uh, zooming out slightly. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's dead. Dead as French Connection. Ah, it appears that the news on Vong were actually finally the ones that became the targets. And that's quite a lot of credits that got pumped into them being attacked, so perhaps they are quite aggressive. Now what I'm doing while this fleet battle is taking place, I'm keeping an eye on this, the fleet supply quotient. If that rises and it gives me some fleet supply, it means I've lost vessels. Hopefully that's not going to be a thing, hopefully I'm not going to lose any at all. Uh, because I do have a relatively powerful fleet that can take on this militia with ease. Oh, it's done, son. One more acclimator to take. Ready. Ready. 
Waiting orders. Where is my ready? I'll give you coordinated targeting. Awaiting instruction. Did I give you anything? No. Awaiting instruction. You got nothing. Ready. Somewhere around here is the colonization vessel. There Moving into position. We can now colonize Thela. Magnificent. A job well done. A new colony has been founded. Damar would be proud. Oh, how I miss his grumpy visage and his desire for Kanar. First thing I'm going to build in this system is a Holonet resta relay station, as previously discussed. And because we want to make sure that culture doesn't affect us in a negative fashion. We're also going to build up the civilian infrastructure of this planet because it's going to allow us some nice taxation. And if there's anything I know, it's taxation is very nice. Okay, we're going to give our ships a moment or two in order to heal themselves. Some of our antimatter is a little low currently. Uh, let's have a look. We've got absolutely oodles of neutronium. So we are going to get rid of some of that in order to upgrade this further. And we are also going to upgrade our logistics capacity, because it will give us further scope to build some military stations around here and begin the expansion in earnest. Now, hopefully you will agree with me, our ships are in, are in pretty great nick, really. So I want to go straight for this large rusty planet. Structure complete. Once, once we... Oh, sorry hitting my own microphone there. Once we have the impetus, I'm loath to lose it. And it will also allow me to build a culture station on this rusty planet, I believe. This looks like another taxation planet, as opposed to the resource planets such as the volcanic and the dwarf magma that I've taken. And here's the fleet, moving ahead. already in the profit tax income wise, which is magnificent. But what can we build in this particular sector that will aid us? I think I want to go chiefly for military research centres. As you can see this is further away from the sun so the chances are higher of it being slightly further away from the enemies. Well, at least the enemies on this side of the galaxy. Just about ready to go into hyperspace. So I think we'll go with them. And they're off. Oh, they left me behind. That's most unfortunate. The game takes on quite a different aspect if you don't, uh, if you haven't got your control features on. Which is quite good really, I quite like this. I'm a little bit worried about allowing my ships to control themselves without me, but uh, I have faith in them. here, the large rusty planet, it reminds me of Coruscant quite heavily. Uh, I imagine that's the look that Lava was going for. It's very attractive. Ah, oh, look at the firepower we're putting down on the enemy. Right, let's get our control screen back up. There we are. Let's see how we're doing in general. Currently we still haven't lost any vessels, which is always delightful news. Most of our fighters have gone down again, however. 
Nothing looks to be in any direct trouble. Awaiting the Conquest is now level 2. Can we give it? Well, let's give it the ability to use Heavy Ion Blast. Ready. Chimera is Planet also level 2. Finished. Ready. Anything else? Ooh, hello. This uh, chance to hit and turn rate improvement of all vessels within the within its immediate area are excellent. So I'm, I'm actually going to give it a second level Awaiting of that. Does this fellow get anything new? No. Reporting in. That'd be too easy. Ooh, Reporting in. Two. Ready. Ah, this one. Uh, let's give better coordinated targeting. some of my extremely Navigating replaceable vessels. Has my culture station been built? Not yet. That's because we're still in research mode. We are researching improved engines. Uh, with many sectors requiring military presence, it becomes imperative that Imperial ships can quickly travel to distant locations. Uh, I agree with that. It gives you an in-system hyperspace speed boost between relay stations speed now, what relay stations are, are they are in fact the culture stations. The Holonet relay station comes equipped with something called a Holonet, a Holonet Hyperwave Tran... It's probably Transceiver, I expect. And it connects this planet to the Holonet, Holonet Galactic blah, 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 Communications Grid. Good lord, I can't speak this evening. I've been at work for too long. And what that allows ships to do is anywhere else that has one of these, like for example my homeworld has one, uh, ships could jump direct to the planet. Now, it's always a good idea if you are on the front lines or for anywhere on the front lines to be connected using one of those to your ship production facilities wherever they might be. Uh, and that's going to give you a bit more opportunity to do your thang. Okay, so let's have a trade center and a Holonet relay station yet again. And, oh, he has no money. He never has any money. Let us get rid of some Additional credits are always goddamn required. Oh, shit, got rid of all my crystal. Ah, now this large rusty planet immediately starts with a positive tax income rate, which is great. Let's have a look and see what my income rate is now. It's only 25.5, but that isn't too bad. Now at this point, I think it might be a good idea for me to build myself quite a few more assassin classes. They build nicely and quickly, uh, but they need to explore the next systems along because I don't want to commit my ships to anything if I don't know what they're about to get the themselves into. That would be a foolish decision by a foolish commander like Weyun. And We're we on the all moon. know that emulating Weyun is madness. Base madness. We're on the move. I mean, he may think the founders We're are wise in all things, but, uh, well... Yes, commander. Let's be honest with ourselves. Right, that's absolutely majestic. We've got all of our assassin classes selected, and they are all doing the thang, which is scouting. As you can imagine, scouting is nice. Okay. We've got a positive 5.3 tax income rate at this planet at the moment, which is great. Oh, another thing that I, I wanted to do, which I haven't got around to yet, is I wanted to explore these planets and ensure that there is nothing there is hidden from me. An there we go, all the planets that we can explore are now about to be explored, which is Structure extremely good complete. news. It's possible that one of these planets contains an artifact that will make things better for me. And if there's anything I would like, it was making Awaiting things order. better. Are these assassin classes doing their thang? Yes. Magnificent. Nothing of value has been found. It seems our planets are nicely loyal. Nothing of value has been found. Uh, hopefully. 
Our assassin classes are going to get where they're going soon, so I can make an executive Planet decision as to which planet engaged. I want to assault next. I do want to do that in the near future. And in order to do that, because I'm playing a single player game, I'm going to turn the game speed up a little bit. There we go, we've got it on 8 times speed at the moment, so things will zip around like absolute crazy. Let's go back down to 4 times speed for a moment, because I don't want to miss a trick. Don't want to miss a thing. As you can tell, I can't sing. Research complete. Right, here we go. Our assassin classes are about to go where they're going. Scouts have found a colonizer. Oh, there's the pirate base. Our fleet is under attack. Oh, there go all my assassin classes. That's going to be highly... What is this? Gravelex Med, large oceanic Awaiting planet. Orders. Okay, we're going to attack Moving it. Into position. No, we're not going to attack it that Navigating way. It'll be madness. That immediately poses a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's go back to one time speed and see if around one of these planets we can start building these military structures we spoke of a little while back. Because I don't want to go in with my pants down. That would be planet. lunacy. Okay, into the military research tree. Let's see what we can do in order to augment our ships. Uh, we do have a reasonable amount of resources. So I'm just going to pile in with a few of these pieces of research. And hope some of it gets completed in the near future. Phase jump complete. Heavy iron cannons, yes, we can do that. Efficient generators, the yes, magnificent. More profitable. Heavy quad turbo lasers, I need that. I don't even know what it is, but I know I need it. Advanced fighter designs, good. Gravity well generators. Okay. Awaiting instructions. Our entire fleet appears to have arrived, and let's go in. Destination Let's just go straight there and see what happens. They've got a couple of missile platforms from the looks of things. Uh, turbo laser platform. Uh, this could be a difficult fight if they have got an acceptable fleet. Uh, I'm hoping they don't. Uh, in this gravity well currently it looks like there are a couple of MCPTBs, is that right? Home 1. There's Home 1 look. Which is a really nice metal. Good job ladies and gentlemen. Got a nice crystal planet here Research with complete. some beautiful rings around it. Oh, oh, there goes my assassin class. Fighter! Okay, this research is taking place. Uh, I wanted to apologize to you all if I sound a little bit raspy. Um, I unfortunately seem to have developed a little bit of a cold. Uh, hopefully, that's not going to impair your experience too much. It is, <laughs> it is impairing mine a little. I cannot feel my own neck. It's most unfortunate. Okay, our military research stations are being built. Uh, let's see how far along we are. Ah, yes, there we are. Holonet Relay Station is ready to be con constructed. We're also going to take addictive consumerism, because that's going to up our culture spread rate. I hope I'm making the right decision here. We will know shortly. Uh, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think I am being a fool in attacking the Alderanian resistance so soon? After all, I don't have a Death Star to sort that shit out. Structure complete. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Planet development finished. Okay, here we go. Gas fleet is moving. Oh, yeah. None of this extra military research has even commenced yet, which is highly unfortunate, but uh, such is life, such is life. Okay, here we go. Right. Research the first thing I want you to do, fleet. In fact, let's back it up. Bring our fighters and have them all attack that missile platform. Get in, do some damage before the main fleet arrives to attack it, because it's probably pretty useful. Oh yes, it is. As you can see here, fighters are extremely useful against static defences. Oh, it's really giving my Imperial 2 a bit of a gyps over here. Unfortunately, it won't be a problem for much longer. And we're going to retask my fighters to attacking that turbo laser platform or this missile platform. But we'll go straight for the missile platform. I think they're a little bit 
more deadly. Let's have a look. 76, yes. Bring the noise. Now I suspect this turbo laser platform may well be able to attack my fighters. I will know in a moment. Ah, there's a shield generator as well. Interesting, interesting. Let's see if they've, they've advanced defensively a little more than I have. And look at the health points on that planet. Right. Okay, let's see. Research complete. Pedosphere. Attack planetary shields. Let's, let's have a bit of that. And it appears that the turbo laser, turbo laser platform can't, in fact, attack my fighters. This is an oversight on the Rebellion's part. And we will teach them the error of their ways. Their whole net re relay station is about to go down as well in, in the near future. Which is going to be useful for us because it's going to allow us to push their culture back slightly. Um, as you can see, our holonet relay station has been built here, and it's pushing their culture back already along this line. Which is nice. Uh, let's get that shield generator down. Shield generator is gone. I'm going to let my fighters do their thing in the meantime. Research and I'm going to have the members of my f main fleet, which order. are able to, go straight for the planet. That should... Ooh, look at the damage that's been done to our Imperial Star Destroyer too. It's most unfortunate. But, it is not the end. Research complete. Now, I think what might be a good idea is to get four more Dreadnought classes, uh, four more Strikes, and four more Vindicators. And then, with any luck, we're going to be able to build another... Uh, I quite like the Tector. That seems to be a uh, relatively well-armed vessel. Doesn't, however, have many fighters, apparently, so... Uh, let's go for... This fellow. Straight up combat ship. Which will allow us to build Victory 2 as well. Do we have any more space? Oh, we do another 10 points. Uh, that's 5 supply. That's 1 supply, the Lancer class. Excellent. Uh, let's build a few Lancers in the hope that... The fools that are the rebels attack us with their fighters. And let's just have a look at some of these bombing runs that are currently taking place against the enemy world. There's turbo laser fire being directed directly at the planet. Magnificent. You were right to fear me, for I am the Dukat. Orders, sir. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no. That's nothing important. That's just a space time. Got a bit excited over nothing. <coughs> Some Y fighters here. Oh look, I managed to zoom in on them. How oh, impressive. Oh, they're lovely. Y fighters. You know what I mean. Y wings. You know what I'm talking about, Willis. Ah, uh, it's been destroyed in fairly short order. In addition to the Y wings that we had, we've got some A wings. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I get too excited about the stuff like this. I do love Star Wars. Oh, there's an X-Wing. A dead X-Wing. Ah. And will I finally be able to zoom in on a TIE? Damn it. Oh, TIE fighters, thou art cruel and heartless bitches. Ah, here we are! There is one of the new TIE fighter meshes that we failed so spectacularly to get in the last episode. And they look really nice. Good job, world. Orders, sir. It appears that the hangar defense has some kind of anti-fighter capability. So we're going to have... What's this orbital refinery? It doesn't matter. We're going to have to deal with that with our larger vessels after this planet has fallen. Awaiting instructions. Command received. Okay, looks like the ships have begun building. What we're going to do is we're going to tell them to go straight there. Has the research begun taking place? No, of course it hasn't. And part of the reason for that is because we're actually waiting for this logistics uh, capacity to be finished. Now, unfortunately, this is a problem with a stock game. If you tell your ships to start building things, uh, in a particular gravity Order, world where some of these um, planetary upgrades haven't been completed, they 
sometimes start the construction but don't finish it because they're rem tards and it really holds up your game but it's not too much of an issue at this point because my ships are well they're just doing their thing they're getting massacred by the hangar defense apparently which is nice but our star destroyers are happily just plugging away at this planet and looks like it's at reasonably low health now we haven't taken attacks from any other direction at this point Anything else we can research in our civilian Planet defense street? Well, let's, let's take those two pieces of research. Magnificent. Mm. That is expensive. We are getting 26 a second tax from it. Order, now, I sir. think that's going to be worth upgrading further because it seems like this is some kind of Metropolis Coruscant style planet not only in its visuals. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this further. It's going to be worth it in the long run. Because look at that, it gives you an extra thousand population. That's going to double my tax rate effectively. And also the population growth rate goes up quite significantly as well. Uh, that's going to be a true tax powerhouse. The last thing I want to do is lose this world. I will build some defenses around it in the near future. Now ideally, I wanted to move ahead and actually, in this episode, discuss the Super Star Destroyers with you, the Executor class and the Allegiance Order, class. Sir. However, we've run out of time for this episode, unfortunately. I will be doing another one in the near future with any luck. Uh, hopefully you like what you've seen. Um, please let me know what you, if you have any ideas as to what I should do next. Uh, should I continue my offensive against the Rebels, or should I perhaps go and take the Pirate Base and ensure that my flank is protected? Let me know, ladies and gentlemen, what you think I should do, and I will take everything you say into consideration. Okay, that's me signing off. Uh, please do comment on this video, uh, like, subscribe if you like my videos uh, at this point, and um, hopefully, with your input, I can make this a better channel, and I can continue Order, growing. Sir. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye.